So today we're talking about how you can go take a relationship from casual dating to a committed one. And this is a, a pain point for a lot of my clients who have no issues meeting men and attracting good men into their lives. But you know, when it comes to that what are we conversation or you know, when things get um, a little bit more serious, they kind of don't know how to take it from you know, just casual dating and just friends to something more. So he, today I'm going to talk about a few things you can do to arm yourself so that next time it happens to you, you're ready to have those conversations and kind of get the outcome you want. So number one is learn his attachment style. So I talk a lot about this in my course, Goodbye Casual Dating. Um, attachment style is based on science and based on research. And it's um, saying that you have, a, people have one of three attachment styles. So one is that secure, they're secure. Um, two is that they're anxious, three is that they're avoidant. So secure means that they're very comfortable expressing their feelings in a relationship, they're very comfortable in or, um, in or not in a relationship. Um, the second style is um, anxious, so it's one person that you know when a guy pulls away they feel really anxious about it and they kind of overcompensate because they want a guy to validate their feelings um, and to make them feel secure in a relationship so they have trouble finding that on their own. The third thing is that the a third style is that they're avoidant. So these people are afraid of commitment, they don't really like relationships and then as soon as people get close they kind of um, step away and withdraw. And you know research says that there are more secure people um, in there, like in the in everybody that exists, they're more secure people than there are avoidant and anxious. But you know, most people who are have a secure attachment style are often taken. So then, you know, you could be um, in a dating pool where you come across a lot of people who are anxious and avoidant, and that's totally fine. You can still have a relationship with people with those two attachment styles, but you just have to understand what they are and how you can communicate with them in a way that does not scare them off from a relationship. So I have a whole module on this in my course, Goodbye Casual Dating. I also recommend you um, read the book Attached, a uh, really good book, uh, it's, by, it's based on research, so it helps you understand how you show up in a relationship. There's also a book list in my um, course called Goodbye Casual Dating. Then the second thing you do want to do is you want to spot people who are ready for commitment and have a worksheet. Um, you can do this in three dates. So it doesn't take more than three dates to, for you to know whether or not you should continue to invest your time with this person. So the first date is you know, to work out how you feel in, in that relationship, how you feel about the guy, if you're comfortable, if you're attracted to him. The second date is more of a gauge of you know, how you feel about, uh, how he feels about you, you know, are you feeling the vibe? Do you feel like he shows up? Do you feel like um, he can provide that um, emotional fulfillment for you in a relationship? And number three, the third date is, you know, that's when you get to know what his intentions are and whether or not he's in it for the long haul, he's looking for something more long term. And there's specific questions you can ask to find out. So another thing could be, you know, uh, you talking about your five year plan or house that you really like and you tell him like what you envision in the future and how he reacts to you will tell you a lot about where his head is at. So if you're talking about you know your five year plan and all the things you want to do and he just kind of nods or he feels uncomfortable then you know that he's probably you know not quite ready to have those conversations whereas you know if he's sharing with your plans plans with you too and there's a wife or a partner in it then like it's probably a really good sign. Either way, you can find out in three dates. It doesn't have to be anything more. I see so many women get into, um, you know, date a guy for three, six months only to find out that they're just looking to have fun or they just want to be friends. Well, that, that's three, six months gone. You know, you can have a couple of those relationships and find that, you know, you spent a year and a half just dating casually. So number three is, you know, it's really important to learn how to communicate your needs. A lot of women I speak to are just afraid of asking for a commitment. So they know they want a relationship, but they don't want to ask for it in a way that'll scare guys guys away. You know, a lot of women are so nurturing, they're so giving, and they put 110% into a relationship. But a guy may not have done that before. Um, they may not be putting in 110. And you know, from a woman's point of view, it's like, well, I did my I did my job. Why didn't you come to the table? 
Um, and a lot of this can be avoided if you just communicated what your needs are um, and what you're looking for at the beginning of a relationship. So I talk about, I, I go through and teach how to uh, you know, approach these type of conversations in a way that doesn't make a guy feel threatened, doesn't scare a guy away. In fact, it's just a really comfortable, effortless conversation. So those are probably the three things you want to look for when you're having this casual, um, you know, what are we chat. If you need any more tips, uh, keep watching these videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and I'll do uh, many more videos on this if you like. Uh, also, I'll leave a link to my course, Goodbye Casual Dating, and also my mini course, which is free um, to help you attract healthy love fast. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next week or in a couple days. Bye.